All right, staying with the iconic movies, The Bodyguard. Hey, oh my gosh. Bye. Massive hit. Uh -uh. <laughs> it was a big hit in the 90s. Uh -uh. Kevin Costner <laughs> developed a legitimate great friendship with his co star, the late, great Whitney Houston. Yes. Well, when Whitney passed, Dion Warwick encouraged Kevin to give her eulogy. Ooh. And when, uh, when he was asked to cut the 17 minute speech down, he refused. According to Kevin, somebody said CNN's here. They wouldn't mind if your remarks were kept shorter because they're going to have commercials. And I said, they can get over that. They can play the commercial while I'm talking. I don't care. Yes. Well, I mean, clearly this is the right thing. Is this, we're all going to do this for our friend, right? Just, or do you even go on longer for spite? Ask, no, you, do, uh -huh. you don't care. You just do what you want to do from your heart for your friend. Well, I'm sorry. I, that's, you got to follow the rules, honey. And my thing is, honey, that <laughs> money, rules. when they were selling those commercials, honey, for that film, that could have helped the Whitney Houston fund the family to have extra money. So no, no way, honey, man, I would cut that commercial. That's not how that works. And Brett, you know better. We do radio every morning. I know we do, but I wouldn't cut my... <laughs> to somebody Eulogy? that passed away, my feelings and what I have to write to them for... I wouldn't... You wouldn't care about that. You should have did that when it was alive. So no, I would just have... I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Gary, yeah. would you have one of us give your eulogy? Well, of course. Hell, I wasn't here and I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Talk off. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Not a woman was safe whenever Gary was around. <laughs> yeah, that's how I always start mine. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.